everything is very significant. This is a way also to pay, to portray desire because yeah. it changed the atmosphere of the room. And so it changed the, we are now in the same water. We are now in the same atmosphere. So this is also why I think it's something very relevant in the way that sin would direct us because we don't overplay because it's very simple. It's not about us. It's about the air changing. Filmmaker Magazine presents Back to One with Peter Rinaldi. This is a very special episode of Back to One. Last year in September, I sat down with the stars of Portrait of a Lady on Fire, Naomi Marillon and Adela Nell, and their director, Celine Siema. On this show, I only sit down with one actor every week. So for me to sit down with two actors and their director from the same movie, it must be very special. And this is a very special film. For me, it's the purest example in recent memory of a perfect synthesis of direction and performance. The exemplary work of these three women combined to create an extremely rare cinematic event. As illustrated by the first thing I say to them in this conversation, I might be a little bit obsessed. I am happy that this film will not be nominated for an Oscar because it will soil it and I'm happy that it, it didn't win the Palme d'Or because that's beneath it. I can talk for an hour to you, Celine, about different layers of it that I appreciate. The use and non-use of music, the playing with my anticipation for certain cinematic um, endeavors that were going on in the film, the idea of it happening post Me Too and how me as a man, as a straight man, if I saw this before Me Too, I would have appreciated, maybe appreciated it in a different way. Now I, I'm, you know, it all works in and it's something very, very special. But because this is an acting podcast, we have to kind of keep it about performance. Mm. Naomi, you, you talked about how you didn't meet Adele before the production began, right? And all of that work was done on camera in the present moment. Yeah. But I was wondering if that was something that you were worried about. You know, how did you trust Celine that that these things would happen on camera? Actually, I met uh, Adele before uh, at the audition. She was uh -huh. there. And so I had the chance to the chance to 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 try something with uh, with her and with Celine at this audition. And so this comfort me, like I, I trust her, I trust them because I felt at this audition that the way uh, Celine wants to work and Adele wants to work is a, um, an equality collaboration. We all collaborators and we're gonna, everything is in the script, but we, we like uh, like the the looks the the breathing and uh, every the, all the words the the text is in the uh, script but we still have uh, a space to to play and Adele was there at the audition and she was you know just really exciting excited and she was um, I don't know like already proposing things and and um and i knew that it 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 will something will work because we are all in the same um in the same um at level, the same uh, level uh, yeah. point we, yeah. we want we we want the same we want to work we want to play we want to make fun and we want to 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 do something you know good and 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 even if we have uh, restrain. We want to get out of our comfort comfort zone, and uh, and that's the point. So when we start the, to shoot the movie, we didn't rehearse together, but we 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 start at the same point uh, point we were at the audition. Just okay. Now we are in the present. We have rest restrained from the text and and you know the the script, but now let's let's play and each time like sometime Adele was looking at me I knew that she would look at me but I don't know how she would look look yeah. at me for example so it was a new way every time it was a new 
a new proposition and so I was responding differently and and the opposite you know all the time was like that and so we built this this relation of uh, of love and and collaborators uh, Adele Celine and me as in the movie Marianne and Eloise it was you know in a parallel yes yes and I felt that really strongly the second time I, I watched it I, this is a movie that you know rewards multiple <laughs> viewings yeah. to to understand this Adele you, you talked about this um, traveling mm -hmm. from object to subject mm -hmm. and you talk about three different <laughs> yeah moment parts mm -hmm. Right? That's not the right word. Um, no, no, so it's right. It's steps. Okay. Yeah, so steps, steps, yeah. yeah. First of all, tell me how much Celine was in um, collaboration with you on that idea of, because this is kind of like a radical performance idea in a way. Well, she was not aware of it. No. That's amazing. I discovered it. No, because... In promo. <laughs> <laughs> but to me, it was very clear. I mean, if she, like, I had, like, I don't know, like the all the scenes, you know, like uh, like the resume of all the scenes. Like I had it on my glass Mac, you know. So I just knew I had like the three portion because we didn't shot in the in the continuity. So we j I just yeah. have to say like, okay, I, now we are here. So it's three three uh, the three part. The first part is like I call it so like it's a Japanese part. So yeah. because I even if it's a bit of cliche, but I wanted to use, like, to do it, like, as I, when I think about no or the, the theater no, yeah, yeah. something like that. Even if it's a cliche, I mean, it's not exactly that, but it's just the way I think about it just make me think that you you use your face as, um, as a mask. Yeah. You use your face as if you were not there or just behind something. So this was the first phase. And then after there is the, I call it the gel, so... Uh, and frozen, unfrozen. unfrozen. Oh yeah, and you, you said it like a crack. Yeah, crackle. But yeah. yeah, so it's just when when you you start to have the intimacy coming that comes the intimacy that comes, then you start to crackle. Though, so it's there's this kind of transition phase, and then the last one is the warmest phase. Yeah. So it's when I talk about that, I say it's more spontaneous. It's more it's more intense, more joyful, more everything. Actually, it's more alive. Yeah. So this was the plan. And at the beginning, I thought about this idea because I wanted to create this impression of an inside. When I say traveling, it's the world in France, which is uh, the movement of the camera on, on the rail, you know. Oh. So this is a, like a dolly. Like dolly, a dolly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is the word I'm looking for. So it's like a dolly movement, but oh. while through acting. This is what I was trying to do. And so it's a bit like an idea. And because the movie was about gazes. Yeah. So I thought like my character is not a character that is based on a psychological unity with his own history, blah, blah, blah. This past, the future, I don't care about that. I don't build my character this way usually, mm. but for this one, like absolutely not. I wanted to create a, per a character that would be not his own like psychological unity, but an object seeing through the eyes of somebody else, which Ooh, would be like Marianne. I so yeah. I try to have this movement inside through acting that would be this way. And I was talking about Picasso because it's just Picasso. He made this like like all the people. Not only he, he's he's not the only one who who did that, but he put like even the Egyptian. You know, they put like sometimes the face and the foot yeah, are not yeah. possible to be on the same level, but it's still like the way he sees because art is also about what you see, the relationship you make through element in life. You know, you create a representation because you, you put in connection stuff that are like in our common eyes, not in relationship. I don't mm -hmm. know how to say that, but it's the way you link this thing. So mm -hmm. when he decided to put the nose, the eyes, the, the ear, whatever, on the same level, it's a cho he chose to to offer his perspective on reality. So I tried to do something like that, but with acting. This is fascinating, but I'm trying William to- William Dafoe had never said that before. <laughs> so <laughs> I am trying to understand though, moment to moment, how you can play such a complex um, um, philosophical 
uh, idea. You know what I mean? Moment to moment. Well, it's it's all about. To me, the art of acting is about trying uh, uh, philosophical hypothesis or uh, idea uh, on the field. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, I, I believe, I believe this is interesting. This is my idea. This is the rule I settle in my head, and I'm just gonna like try to see what it brings when you like hit the reality with this thing. Mm-hmm. So this is the first point, and second, it's huge in my mind. It's huge. I'm always like. This is the my like great fantasy, but when it comes when it hits the reality, it became something else. So it it's not the pure form of it. It's just like I really want it to be pure, but as when you strike the reality, it's too complex. It creates other waves, blah blah blah. So you, but it's not it's not you you don't you don't reach the point you wanted to reach. But still, I think there is the the trace of the journey. And then it comes to me, and then it. It's in me as something uh, mysterious Mm -mm. that it wouldn't have been if you didn't have all those Mm -mm. complex things. But the person who set the field is here. And that's and that's important. What you did to have these artists, authors, as you call them, be able to uh, confidently have authorship. How was that important to you, Celine? And and what and and what were you doing um, moment to moment yourself to keep that? going well it was part of um my desire to make this film is also and as a a departure from my previous work is that i I would work for the first time with professional actresses it's you know otherwise i used to you know they would become actresses in the even, process even of making Ad- the film. Adele wasn't a, a professional actress when you first uh, No, 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 I wasn't. Water no. Lilies, yeah. No, but still no. there was... <laughs> no, she wasn't. No, no, I'm not sure. She I wasn't. wasn't. But, but, she, but, but she, that's how I learned. But she, we became professional together. I wasn't yeah. professional either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Then when you work with kids and teenagers, you're pretty much in charge and you're very lonely. It's a beautiful experience, but you're lonely with the film. You're, you're alone with the film, with the whole process. You, of course, you you give the whole intellectual outline of the film to your cast, and it's um, you know there's a strong intellectual link to the thing. It's not about taking; it's about them giving you something. But you can't you can't negotiate. You know, when when they're not professional, there's, there's things that they won't do. They're not able to do. They're not, and it sh- it should stay this way. Whereas with professional with grown ups character. Uh, and and grown up actresses, it's it, to me it was like okay, so now this is a new field, and I'm gonna learn from them because they, they, I mean they're professionals, and also you know having this uh, companionship with Adele from for a lot of years, I saw her growing as a as an actress, and we were talking also a about her, 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 pro, her intellectual process. So I was really really uh, confident that they would. I would learn a lot from them. Mm. Um, so that's how you you make it happen Mm-mm. also. Um, and I wasn't in the process of uh, Adele's philosophy for her character or neither, neither Noemi's. You know, it's not about discussing this. No. It's about trust. I, I, it's also about the language that you built from scene to scene. Mm-mm. And the first time Adele spoke as her character, I was so totally surprised at how she mm-hmm. embodied it. Like, I was, and I said, and I was, oh, okay, this is a very strong proposition, <laughs> and now we're gonna work around that. <laughs> but also, like, to where she, the pit, how she pitched her voice, like this was part of our, of the process of building the character. Mm-hmm. I wanted I did to pitch her voice a little bit higher than usual. So she knew that, we talked about it, but we didn't, we didn't try it. We weren't like, oh, oh, oh. it wasn't like that. No. It was like she just mm-hmm. did it. And then it was more and more accurate. Mm-hmm. And even in the process of post-production, when we did post-synchro, mm-hmm. we, she, she, I mean, they watched the film. Like for instance, you know, there's sometimes there's this thing where you do post-synchronization. Is this the right word? Yeah, Would you do yeah, the word? Yeah. yeah. And the actresses, they haven't seen the film, which mm. is, I think, totally crazy. Yeah, that's true. So they were the first one to see the film, yeah. even though it was just, like, not totally mm-hmm. done with the editing. But so that they would see yeah. what we built together, that's and important. they could then... And so there were things we had to redo because of the sea, whatever, because of technical mm-hmm. sound thing. Mm-hmm. But there were also things that Adele, said, watching the film, said, I want to do this line again. And I was like, okay, 
and we didn't need to do it. It was I was happy with it. And the sound person were happy with it. But she said, I want to do I want to do this in a different way. And everything went boom. There's like one word that there's a yes on the beach. It just says yes when they say it's uh, she wants to go to swim. And and Noemi says, oh, do you know how to swim? Or maybe when they'll see will be more calm. And she says yeah. yes. And that's something that she wanted to mm. redo. Mm. And there's a miracle in that yes yeah, that yeah, yeah. really actually just broke my heart. And mm. it's just being more and more accurate in the process, in the whole process of making the films, even in past production. Right. It's all about details as well, as Naomi says. It means, I mean, we have like ideas, ideals, but then we are like in the inner kitchen. We are just like, it's line after line, it's scene after scenes. And we are just always like, okay, I want to reach that point. So I think I have to change the rhythm. I have to change the melody. I have to, like, I, I want to see less the actress and more the character, for example, as well. That's why also we did, we redid the line in the post production because I could felt, I mean, I myself, so I know, but I could felt like, oh, I was scared that I would, my tongue would sleep on that on that precise line so I can see that I'm a bit stressed and I don't like this feeling because it brings back the character, it brings back the actress and you lose a bit the character. I wanted to, so thing like that. But so to say, as she's settling the field, she settled it in a very, she has a very rhythmic way of thinking, uh, the direction of acting. Mm -hmm. She's not trying to, I mean, of course we are talking about emotions, we are talking about like, the main movement, but what really, what Selin really cares about is about rhythm and is about like opening and closing. It's like you close, you open, and then you know that, for example, she would pay attention, so much attention, like if the, the scenes would end with an in or out breathing. Like, for example, think of that, or just like at this moment you have to, for example, I remember a gesture that Noemi should do, do, do at the end of the scene when she's giving back, uh, putting back the corset that I'm, she's just like supposed to just uh, yeah. like uh, make it tight again. And this was, for example, something that Sin really cares about because she said like, no, you do one, two, three, check, because you know that she would edit after. Mm -hmm. And just, it, uh, it seems like a bit simple, but it's the, it's our meeting point on the, on the scene was, we had several meeting points like that. One of the things you said was the gazes, the looks are like words. Mm. And when she first sits down and poses for you, that's a very important moment that I didn't realize until the second time. It's like the end of the act there or something. Mm -hmm. Something very, very important happens there. And this time I noticed something with you, Nomi. What she was giving you and what you were giving her back but I wanted to just know if you remember this moment and what, what you were playing there when she first sits down to pose. Well, I remember we would, we would say, like, there's this look at me, which is like for the first time the painter and the model is, is here and the sentence that the painter says is look at me. So it's not about her looking at the model. So this, yeah. this kind of paradox. We could say pitching the scene would be it's the first time she's going to look at the model as a model, but it's actually the first time that the model is going to look at the painter. Yeah, that's what, and yeah, so that's, she, that's where suddenly she's confronted to what she feels and she's yeah. moved. Yeah, it's, 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 it's like she's looking at you for the first time in a way. Mm -hmm. and, and for the first time, I like I, I was looking at her to, to paint her in, sec in secret. Yeah. So... At that moment, when I, I I ask kind of this order, look at me, and I'm I'm surprised and shocked by something that I I couldn't imagine. Like this this is a detail, like I said, but this is a what where start everything. Like it's the magic, you know, of love because you're surprised of something you 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 were not uh, expecting. Mm -hmm. And so I was trying to, as I was uh, playing, I was trying to be really like, okay, I will ask her like really in my uh, 
uh, I'm, I'm doing my job. I will ask her, like, because I'm someone who likes to control, you know, things, to, to be concentrated. So look at me. And then she look at me. And that's the moment where I start uh, the sharing. And that yeah. that is kind of a huge, big thing. Yes. And so I was uh, trying to open, you know, it was all about open yeah. things. So open my eyes and open my heart and open the, even just the air, something in the air, like, and receive uh, Eloise, Adele, receive her in my environment. Yeah. So I think it was something like that. And it's so perfect how you, something so big as that was so, was played so finely that so you can just feel, feel it. What was that? I think it's an in breathing. Yes. She she does like when I talk yeah. about things like something like it's there's very very something to do with the breathing in there and I yeah. think this looks is really I think no you do like yeah. there's something with yeah. just something you get into it, so but the groove of the face because also we could be because in the short reverse shot process which is something that I'd never done before mm. very few short reverse shots mm. in my previous film well we I think we shot it Adele first and so. Then I have this as a reference. I know what she, yeah. what she, what she sent, and maybe she's going to send something different when the camera is not on her. Obviously, but I have this groove that she did, and so then also I can talk to Noemi because it's silent, at the yeah. and I can tell her also like open your mouth, which is something that is really like an event, you know. Yes. You should open yes. your mouth and breathe. So we would also craft things. Mm -hmm on the moment based on mm. what was happening between them and half of it is not on camera because right. we're not on Adele. But we have in mind what she did and also so I could adjust also and 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 be more even more even myself be in the present and 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 so and also yeah really about the the breathing and looking. And so this sometimes we could really create like a whole, I don't know, you say that, but the, the whole package of looks and breathing, and we wow. would we would do it in the present. Yeah, I, I definitely want to say something. Yeah, you <laughs> do. <laughs> yeah. No, what I want to say is also the way that I mean, it's a detail, the fact that she opened her mouth, but it creates like the environment, the air becomes sensual. There is something in the air because then you can feel like almost like a, a wave through the air, you know? So it's a way that it changed the quality of the atmosphere. So paying attention, and that is what Céline does in her movie. It's really like we say, ligne claire in the, for the comics, you know? Like clear line. Clear line. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's all about clear line. So yes. then because you pay attention to details, because there is no like, if you look at the movie, it's like the frame out empty. There is no like, like thousands of stuff in the frame like that are supposed yeah. to be there because it's the 18th century. So we put yeah. all that like stuff that are usually in the 18th century films. So because there is, there is no, everything is very significant. This is a way also to, pay, to portray desire yeah. because it changed the atmosphere of the room. And so it changed the, we are now in the same water. We are now in the same atmosphere. Yeah. So this is also why I think it's something very relevant in the way that sin would direct us because we don't overplay because it's very simple. It's not about us. It's about the air changing. Mm. So, and there's a little bit of sound editing at that moment that is very discreet, but there's a little bit of rain happening wow. on Noemi's when Noemi's open her mouth. Oh, I gotta see it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, uh, if I can add something, I think all the all the movie is built like that, and so the acting too about um, sobriety, sober, uh, sobriety, sobriety. sobriety. Yeah. Yeah. like for like example for the music. There is just, you know, there's two musics and that's all. And the fact that there was just two music, you can really, it, it, it comes up, it, it's mm -hmm. more uh, profound, more yes. deep. You, you wait to hear it yes. because you feel the silence first and from the silence you feel the music. And it's the same for the, for the acting, like it's not like, if there is a lot, lot of things in the play, and it's it's different kind of act, acting, but if it, it, when it's too much, then you, you, I think you imagine and phantasm and and the erotic is less yes. because everything is offered to you, 
And when you can just take the time, and this movie take the time, uh, leave the silence and let the, you know, all the details come. Yes. Yes. And uh, the, all the details of the of of what we say and what we don't say when we fall in love, how you how we look, how we touch, and everything you know comes comes out. Yes. And so it's I think this acting uh, in the retenue, uh, holding back, holding holding back. back in the acting. It's it's if it's you know I think it's really powerful and more yes. and you use more your imagination and I think. We need that. It, it's, it doesn't all rely on us. Like it's not like separate bodies, uh, like bodies. The uh, acting is about creating a new atmosphere. So when we don't find the solution, our, on we sometimes we don't find the solution of ex, of expression uh, to a specific emotion on our face or in our body. Yeah. It's also this is why it's when, when I talk about the atmosphere. There's also a certain you know. I don't know how to say it, but it's also about how we can try to change not our relationship between the two of us, but between us and the space. Yeah. And this is also like um, a stakes for for filmmakers to try to not only realize on, rely on the face of yes. the actor or on their separate body, but try to create this common body. So good luck with that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We have to talk about this because you, you've mentioned it a lot and you've kind of talked about it. the joy. Well, it's difficult to talk about joy, but uh, this, there was definitely the movies. <laughs> Do you want to speak? You want no, to... no, it's okay. <laughs> I can because it's an acting like podcast. This is what I want to speak. <laughs> <laughs> breathing breathing, <laughs> breathing is important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <Very> like important. <laughs> you can't decide. I mean, you can't decide. Well, Yes, you can decide things are going to be joyful, I think. You know, it's not something that happens because there's magic. It's like you have to commit to the fact that you're going to have the good distance with things, that even though you're doing something really, really important for yourself and maybe for the world, you know, hopefully, um, there's not going to be those kind of tension. There's not going to be like hierarchy of and this is important, so we mm -hmm. should be. It's really about deciding that things are going to be joyful because then you're going to, you're going to be at that standard. So it's not about we had luck because we loved each other, whatever. It, it's a decision that you're going to have the good distance. You're going to be pissed off about silly things. You know, like, for instance, I wanted gray weather. I went to Brittany because I wanted to be Bronte sisters. I wanted it to be gray and, and rainy and had this big sun. And I was, I just said, well, that's a good news, yeah. you know, because why wouldn't it be? I don't know, you know, it's not about, it's about not fetishizing what you're going to do. And it's about, yeah, deciding that this is going to be happy. So you're going to have the good distance with things. Yeah. And in the process of acting, it's very important to get this lightness. Because yeah. like the, I think when it uh, strikes, no, when acting strikes is when there's like, you have your ideas, but there's like, Kind of, um, yeah, it's like a bit, I said sparkle, but it's like, you know, this kind of lightness thing that there's in life, even if you have a hard moment or whatever, yeah, there's always this kind of, you, you can face it actually. So it's all about that. For, and for me, joy is like also believing that whatever the shape, it doesn't matter if there's no perfect shape, but there is a good relationship to shape. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So art is not, like something that is uh, this, I don't know how to say it, but there's no perfect shape. So you can a bit relax with that and just like also try to do it, try to find the rhythm that would be like the rhythm for the film and eternity, you know, like this is it now. But uh, when you do it, you just know it's, it's because it was that day and you had this, you have this idea that we talked about before about the, the dolly thing, like that for example, uh, but, and you have your uh, fellow actress with who you play, and when you invent, makes you a bit, uh, there's a, a little bit less weight on your shoulder when you have this perspective. As you see, uh, we are all exciting about what we do, and <laughs> I think when we create something, we are happy. 
And when we create something, we have to be in the present moment. And it's when you're in the present moment that you have the good distance with the things and that you're, you, so if you're in the present moment, you're, you, you open to all the accident and all, all what can happen. And so if you have her in this spirit that I think we all are because that's how Celine wants to work and she is the one who opened the thing first to let us all come. So then it, it was in, 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 in joy and humor, a lot of humor in this uh, mm. shooting. Mm. Celine has a, a, <laughs> a, a big uh, capacity of, uh, how do you say, humor, uh, a, a black jokes and... Yeah. So this is an important thing also to take, to put uh, you more on what we do. Yes. Celine Seema, Adele and Elle, Noemi Merlon, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Mia Murray helped me produce this episode. She's a young film student in New York City who also happens to be obsessed with Portrait of a Lady on Fire. In January, we went to see it at the Museum of the Moving Image. It was my seventh time seeing the movie, her third. I turned on the recorder afterwards. How does this movie tangibly inspire you as an artist and as a woman? During this, I was trying to focus on the choices Celine made technically, like with camera work and things like that. And as a young filmmaker, and I don't know a lot about, you know, cinematography, I mean, I just think those choices were definitely personal and they added to the story. And you could tell that there was just so much dedication and I just hope I can one day make something with that, you know, putting my all on it. Um, And what about as a woman? Like, I, I, I don't mean, I don't want some kind of profound answer. I mean, I mean, for real, for you, just when you walk out of that. As a woman, when you see a story like that being told about women, how does that inspire you as a woman? I think um, stepping out of this, I'm not afraid to tell whatever story I want to. I don't have to cater to any kind of audience. And I can make it as specific, whatever story I want to tell, as, as specific as possible or very broad, you know, like I can do it for me. And I can do it for women because there's going to be other people out there like me who are inspired or who want stories like this. Back to One is a production of Filmmaker Magazine, which is a publication of IFP, the Independent Filmmaker Project. Listen to back episodes of this podcast at filmmakermagazine.com or wherever you get your podcasts.